What's going on YouTube? Um, this is my weekly haul, uh, but first I want to do a contest update. Um, I still have about two weeks left until the contest ends. The uh, contest, oh, well, I'll, I'll make the, the winner announcement on December 1st. Uh, and in case you haven't heard about the contest video I'm doing, basically I'm changing the name of my, uh, my channel. Um, and I'm looking for help finding a new name. So um, what I'm doing, I'm doing a contest. Uh, I submit some names for my channel, and if I pick your name, you're going to win a uh, slab book, a graded book. Um, and the first place, whoever's name I choose, will have a choice between two books. i um, just going to go over it again. I've already made a contest, but if you want to watch that. The first one the choice they have is an 8.5 Avengers 181 signed by George Perez. Um, so you have a choice of that. Or else, Superman, Man of Steel 17, first appearance of Doomsday. Uh, 9.0 signed by Louis Simonson. So there's two different choices. Uh, and then I'll do probably do a drawing for the uh, second place. So either way you have a chance to win. Whether or not you, you have the name you submit chosen for my new channel uh, or else if uh, um, for a drawing too. So uh, of course I'll pull out the person's name who won first place. They're not going to be able to win second place also. So uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and submit uh, some, some names. You can actually do it on this video here too, or else you can go back to the original one. Please also like and share this uh, this video or my previous contest video so I can get some more people giving, giving names. I already have a bunch of names that were given, but you know, I, I'd like a large lot to pull from. I mean, I have, there's a couple of them that I've seen that I really liked that I'm rolling over right now, but of course that's not saying that I'm going to choose one of those names right now. So there could be someone else submits a name later on in the next two weeks and I'll choose that name. But uh, there, there are a few really good ones that I like. So uh, yeah, so um, go ahead uh, and either uh, just put some names, uh, ideas for channel names um, in this video, or else go back to the original uh, contest video. Or else, if you're going, if you're going to make a video, I know the comic book uh, Extite, uh, uh did a video. Um, if you're going to do a video, let me know because I didn't know about his. I just happened to watch the video, <laughs> you know. So um, I didn't realize it was for my contest, but I did get that, you know. Uh, I did see that video. So, um, but yeah. So if you are going to do a video, go ahead and uh, let me know you're doing the video. Uh, but yeah. So go ahead and submit some names. Uh, Share the video, please, and uh, like like the video, all that stuff, you know, all that good stuff. So, so that's about it. Um, like I said, to just show it one more time. First place, we don't have a choice of one of these two books. Second place, we'll get the one that wasn't chosen. Okay. So, uh, this is also my weekly haul video. Um, I went to the Comic Con this weekend, Rhode Island Comic Con, and I did uh, get a couple books, uh, and I made the video for that already because a lot of most of those books are submitted. Um, I was going to do one big video to just add on to the end of that video where books I picked up on Saturday, but I only picked up one book. So I'm not going to bother, uh, I, I didn't bother doing that. So I, uh, uh, I'm going to save it for this video. So there is one book in here from the, the Boston Com, I mean the Rhode Island Comic Con I got. But uh, the rest of the stuff is just new stuff that came out this week. None of this stuff is that big of a deal. Um, I do have some some pretty cool uh, I have a key um, first appearance and I also have a a golden age book that's a pretty significant I guess you know cover and stuff like that so but yeah so um not a lot of books to be a short video already four minutes of me talking so we'll just get started okay new books that came out this week um, Southern Cross this is number nine I'm I am a little bit behind this and I really want to catch up on this um, I, I really really enjoyed this uh, th this book, you know, so yeah, um, I'm looking forward to uh, catching up with that. Um, uh, then also, this was a huge surprise for me. I did not know they weren't even making any more of these. I mean, I was, I didn't understand why I just ended, but it's been a long, long time since a Peter Panzerfaust. This is number 24 came out. Um, yeah, it's been. I I I, I want to say it's been a, over a year. So that's cool that it's actually that they're actually putting another some more books out. So I'm really happy with that. Really, really like this series. I recently, uh, within the last few months, got or last six months, got the whole set um, or a big, a pretty big lot of them from number one up. 
so I, I have two first I have two number ones now but um yeah so I'm happy that came back out I'm gonna have to uh, read that one there because I I am caught up on all the books um, I actually have them in trade so uh, so it'd be cool to read that one then this is number two I believe of this is number two I can't even tell oh number three of uh, Lady Killer Volume 2. That's it. Number 3. Um, this is just a regular cover. I, I don't know if there was a variant cover. They usually do variant covers for these, but I didn't see one. So I got that one. Um, I'm pretty sure I got two. Um, I'm almost positive I got number two. I haven't read this series yet. I read the original series. Really good. So that's why I'm picking up these, even though I haven't read them yet. You know, you guys know me. I never read shit. So, <laughs> I just buy them and I read certain things and I ne never get around to reading a lot of this stuff, so. But also, this is the Suicide, New Suicide Squad, number six. Um, this is the variant cover, or the B cover. Uh, and uh, um, I know I said I was going to drop this. I just keep forgetting to tell them. Uh, we'll see if I get the Flash one next, because um, I meant to drop that too. And another number, uh, the other regular cover, I guess. Uh, it's a Jim Lee cover, so that's pretty cool. Um, sorry to declare. So, yeah, I'm doing a lot of videos facing the camera now. Um, I ain't got room to put them up on my shelf anymore and, and do a video that way. So, uh, yeah, so I also got uh, um, Batman number 11. Of course, I'm still picking up Batman. Uh, I think I'll never drop this one. But yeah, I got the regular cover and then the other cover. So, and that's it. So that's all the new books I got. Um, but I will show this. Um, this is a new thing they got out that my local got um, this week. So I picked it up. This is the only one they had. This is Outcast figure by Skybound. Um, this is an exclusive from Skybound Entertainment and McFarlane Toys. Limited edition Kyle Barnes action figure. So it's pretty cool. Um, it, it was they wanted thirty bucks for it. I just took it off. Had a thirty dollar price tag on it, but I got my twenty percent. So it was like twenty four bucks, something like that. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool figure. It has the uh, uh, what do you call it? Come out all around them and shit, you know. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, I wish I could open these and take the figure out and put them back, but I hate uh, uh, it's sealed. I know you're never gonna do that, so. I have no idea if that's even has a value to it right now. I don't know how when it came out, if it just came out or what. My local had it, so that was surprising um, for a limited edition um, or whatever they call it. Okay, so now also my local, just a few more books. I picked up a wall book they got, um, and I paid about nine bucks for it, right around there. It was twelve dollars, and I got my twenty percent, so about a little over nine dollars. Um, but it's a book I want to get. This is the Amazing Spider-Man number one, and this is the Sunburst cover, so pretty cool. Of course, there's a little bit of a spine roll right there, but, you know, if I ever decide to do anything with it, get it, get it graded or something, I can have that pressed. Um, my local actually just said that they've pressed a few books. They have a press, um, but they're still deciding whether or not they're going to do it for, like, the their customers or not because of uh, liability issues and stuff like that they're telling me so it might not be worth it for them um but yeah so uh now that, that, that's all the new stuff i picked up now well, the rest of this well okay i'm going to show some books i got from my one book i got from the red on comic con and the other book i got from ebay so but uh, first i just save this i usually save the program I got a little uh, Rhode Island Comic Con program. I don't know even know who did the cover on this, but you know, I just saved them just for uh, you know mementos. Now, this is the book I got on Saturday at the Rhode Island Comic Con, and this is all I got because uh, I spent quite a bit of money on the first day. You guys know if you watched my video, uh, Rhode Island Comic Con video, um, I made a big purchase of the Fantastic Four number one, the first appearance of Loki. And also I got the second printing of uh, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number one. So, which I did have signed. I had it signed by, uh, um, uh, oh my God, Eastman. And also I had it signed by uh, Steve Levine, uh, whatever his name is. Uh, I think that's his name. He's the 
Um, Eastman actually told me this himself. I read it, but I asked him about it. And he did tell me himself that C was actually the inspiration for Michael Angelo because he had been with them since like 1984, 85, something like that, since the beginning um, as an employee. And uh, he was the Joker in the office and stuff, they said. And um, this is from Eastman's mouth to my ears. Uh, so yeah, he was the inspiration for my client Joe. So I had him sign it too. And they both did a little sketch, and I'm getting it graded by CGC because um, it's a magazine size. But uh, I picked this up too. Now I got to tell a little story. Uh, I, I sold some books at the Boston Comic Con, and one of the uh, and I sold like five books to this one guy um, who I know from my flea market. Um, good guy. Um, I've, he, he's hooked me up with some deals and stuff. So I was a little disappointed. Um, I sold him my uh, 8.5 signed by Garth Ennis, Preacher number 1. Um, also a low grade copy of uh, oh my god the, the first appearance of Moon Knight um, number 32 of uh, Where of By Night. Um, also I sold him a number 1 of Silver Surfer and a number 4 of Silver Surfer and I think was that 1, 2, 3, 4 um, I don't know I think it's five I don't know whatever five books but I found out he, he when I, I bought I bought a book off him on Friday I bought that Loki off him um, he wasn't there but I went on um, his wife I, I, I got on the phone with him later on that afternoon because um, he told his wife he wanted to talk to me and found out the Silver Surfer number one was actually trimmed and I thought I sold him my good copy because I have two copies of that and my second copy is trimmed on the side the lengthwise the long ways um, and this one was trimmed on the bottom. I never even knew it. Uh, but I was like, how do you know? I can't even tell. He put it up next to the four that I sold him because he still had all these books. Um, and it's like, this much shorter. So I actually ended up giving him $100 back of the 700 he gave me originally. So I kind of lost out. But he did have a book that he had at the Boston Comic Con that he was... He kind of overpriced because he wanted to keep it himself, and that's why he overpriced it. But he did have it he had it listed there at the, for four twenty five because this is a book I was thinking about buying off originally, um, and because of that, he gave it to me a hundred dollars cheaper actually. So three twenty five I paid for this, and it's this is a golden age book. It's an EC uh, book, but crime suspense stories number twenty. It's the hanging cover. Now unfortunately, it does it's it's fairly nice condition for. A golden age uh, has the wax pencil on there which I'm thinking about taking a little bit of an eraser to it and see if I can get it off um, or at least fade it out a little bit so it's not as noticeable but uh, cause I've done that before for another book and it, it came out pretty well um, but yeah so I got that um, for 325 so unfortunately you know it's like it just when something like that happens it just gives me no inclination to try to sell any more books, you know, because I just like, you know, I lose money and stuff, and it's like I'm gonna just keep them. But you know, whatever. Uh, unfortunately, uh, now that this has happened, also it's happened before too. So I've been a lot more particular about what books I buy. Unfortunately, sometimes on eBay, you just get what you get, and unfortunately, I don't look at it when I first get it well enough. So I'm gonna start doing that. So if I do buy off eBay. Um, I actually started doing this weekend, pulled everything out of the bag, looked at it, counted pages, did everything like that. So, But uh, uh, that, that was it. That's the only story I had to say. So be aware of what you're buying because I've been burned a few times now and it's my own fault for not looking. Um, but, you know, you learn, you learn as you go. Um, I've only been collecting again for about three years. So um, and I put a, built a pretty good collection in three years. I got over... I'm probably close to 10,000 books now, but uh, um, but yeah, just, just be more aware if you're if you're early in collecting too, um, or if you've been collecting. I mean, I'm sure you guys know you got to be aware of what you're buying and really check it out pretty well. But okay, so I bought this online. I got to tell you what I paid for it. Um, I paid $113 plus. I think shipping was like five bucks, four bucks, something like that. It wasn't much more than that. So about 117 bucks, 118 bucks, something like that. Um, and this is a book I've been wanting for a while and the prices are crazy on this book um, Especially since before the X-Men movie um, But I think they're kind of calming down, but they're still pricey books So I will get this for 117 and it's in very very nice condition um, So here you go. I know Mercenaut wanted this a long time ago He did a video. I remember him saying that he really wanted this book, but 
This is Captain Britain number eight. First appearance of, uh, oh my god, what's her name? Braddock, uh, Bessie Braddock. Uh, Psylocke, who later becomes Psylocke. And I read the first story. Actually, the Captain Britain story in this, it's like very short. Um, they have a Fantastic Four story in this. It's like long as hell. Um, it's most it's most of the book, you know. The Captain Britain story is really short, but but uh, Bessie Braddock only appears like in the last page or two. Um, it's a very short uh, appearance, um, and I actually had to uh, wasn't I didn't even know it was her at first. That I was like, so where's her first appearance? I had to go back and look, and yeah, it was her. Um, but yeah, so I got the first appearance here. You know what? Maybe I'll show it to you guys. This is the last book of the show, so the video's gonna be short. Or shorter than normal, you guys. Um, but yeah, the book's pretty nice condition. It's not perfect, but... So... Yeah, see, it's very short. It's like... One, two... Three, four, five, six... Seven pages. That's all it is, and the rest is the Fantastic Four. So... Here it is, this is it. Uh, right here, Brian, Brian. What? It's my sister, Betsy. So that's their first appearance of Psylocke. Uh, as far as I know, um, I think that's the first appearance. Um, but yeah, so, but yeah, so you can look, that's just, that's the end of the seven pages. And then it's all this Fantastic Four story. Uh, with Joseph Note, I wish I would have had this book this weekend. I had him sign it. But yeah, it's crazy. And the rest is all Captain America, and the last one's a uh, a pay, uh, what's the what's the last story in here? It's a Fury, Nick Fury story. So Shield. But yeah, guys. So that's it. Um, like I said, share the video. Uh, come up with some names for my channel. Um, you can win a graded book. And uh, thanks for my new subscriber. I th I actually broke 270. Um, 200, I mean, uh, 470 subscribers. Uh, so I was stuck. I was like stuck at 160 something. But yeah. So go ahead and keep uh, uh, keep giving me those names for my new channel, and I'll be changing that name on December 1st with the video. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, see you guys later. Bye.